Uh, today we're here to announce uh, my proposal, which is 311, One Call to City Hall. It's a revolutionary program that started in the city of Baltimore by now Governor O'Malley, and a few cities around the country uh, latched on to this idea because people understand that we have to use best management practices to be able to make government more efficient. People expect it, they deserve it, and they want it. Right here in the city of Worcester right now, we are in, at a time where we need positive, engaged, and innovative government. Positive meaning understanding what we do well. Engaged means being in the neighborhoods, talking to people, and hearing about what they need, and being innovative to be able to deliver those, uh, those services to those people. One of the things I've found over the past few months is that the people here in the city of Worcester do want more efficient government, and they want a more powerful connection to City Hall. And I think the 311 program, one call to City Hall, here in the city will be able to accomplish that. I'm lucky today that I'm being joined uh, by the mayor of Somerville, Mayor Joseph Curtitoni, a up-and-coming uh, progressive leader, not just here in uh, the state of Massachusetts, but I believe regionally. He's a person that took on this challenge of taking one call to City Hall, 311, brought it back to his hometown of Somerville, and has been able to take that to the next level. It's never been done by a city of the size similar to Somerville. It's only been done by major metropolitan cities. Mayor Curtis Tony has shown that it can be done with cities of our size. Because citizens both here in Worcester or Somerville or any small town or city in America deserve the same level of customer service that the big cities are giving their fellow citizens. I also am enjoy, uh, joined by the Director of Constituent Services for the City of Somerville, uh, Mr. Sean Kelly. Uh, Mr. Kelly and I had the opportunity, uh, along with the City Clerk, uh, to view this one call to City Hall, 311 call center in person. I feel that as a, a leader, you must and should go out and seek new ways of bringing efficiencies to government. And that means stepping outside the boundaries of Worcester uh, and looking across the country. I didn't have to go far. When I saw Mr. Uh, Kelly, was a commitment to co customer service and the ability to get it done. The premise of 311 is to make it accountable, make it courteous, and easy to deal with government. It's accountable because when you call the 311 center, you're going to be greeted with the response, hello, thanks for calling the city of Worcester, how may I help you? You're going to, you're going to give your request and you're going to get a work order number back, much like UPS, where you're going to be able to track it online or you're going to be able to call back. And when you call, when you call best yet, you're going to get an expectation of when that service is going to be delivered. Because the premise behind one call to City Hall 311 is that we will benchmark each and every service here in the city of Worcester. So when you call, you're going to get an expectation of a result. And the best thing is when we don't produce, you'll be able to hold us accountable. Right now, the really the only way to hold people accountable in government is at the ballot box. Each and every day with 311, you'll be able to hold the city of Worcester accountable. And that's a change for the good. This is about putting a good idea into action. And that's what leaders need to do both here across the country. People are, are seeing a distrust in government. They're seeing uh, a government they believe that only has personal interests and not the interests of the people. But when you have one call to City Hall, 311, it changes all that. You are part of the equation. We are part of the equation. And that's important. This program, how do you get to it? Easy. You'll just be able to dial 311 anywhere in the city of Worcester, and you'll be directed right to City Hall. Right now, we have 42 different numbers and departments here in the city. Now you'll have one. That's the easy part. The best thing about One Call to City Hall, it's not just a, a, a contact point, it's not just a customer service tool, but it's a money management tool. Because in the end of the day, we're going to be able to track our services, get the data, get our benchmarks, see whether we, we met them or we didn't meet them. So we'll be able to uh, look at productivity, we'll be able to allocate resources in different areas to be able to make ourselves more efficient. We'll be accountable, 
and will be transparent. So not just services, though, you'll be provided when you call City Hall. You'll be provided with cultural events. When's the next summer showing at Institute Park? Is there a Tornadoes game tonight? Is there a snow removal issue? Is there, uh, you know, the Christmas, the holiday festival lights um, going to be shown tonight? You'll be able to get all points of information here at City Hall, where we're going to put you first. We're going to make you uh, number one. I think the hallmark of what's happened over the past few months with my campaign is that we've shown we are willing to go out and get good ideas from any part of the country, whether it be right here on Cape Cod with the energy bulk buying plan, whether it be in Springfield with, uh, with a workers' uh, compensation package to lower costs, whether it be um, uh, here down at the State House with the Michel Municipal Relief Partnership Act. Um, I've met Mayor Curtis Tony, but actually the first time I, met, I heard of him was through his sister, who's a, a, a pistol of an attorney, and uh, we had a case together, and she told me about her brother and how he's committed to changing Somerville and how he was born and raised in Somerville and how much it means to him to be able to uh, be a part of changing government. And I have those same similar feelings about Worcester, being born and raised here uh, in the Seven Hills of Worcester, uh, having parents that have taught and been in public service here in the city of Worcester, and various members of my family who are involved in public service. And that's why I want to be a part of changing government. That's why I want to work with the city manager uh, and give Worcester residents a powerful connection to City Hall. The real question is, does it really work? And how much does it cost? And that's why I brought out Mayor Curdy Tony, because I want to show that there's some teeth in this proposal. It's not just lip service. People are sick about politicians talking about ideas instead of putting action in those ideas. To sum it up, we, we have a chance here to change our government. It's not often that you have a chance to make a true difference in people's lives. And I see this as not just a customer service tool, I see it really as an economic development tool. Uh, we are in the beginning stages of growing a life science uh, base that will, will carry us for probably 30 or 40 years. And these companies are these good idea companies, these uh, infant stage companies, uh, are going to have to make a decision in the years to come when they grow into mature companies, where they're going to go. And if they feel that City Hall gives them a powerful connection, that they can be a part, a seamless part of government, then they're going to choose to stay here in the City of Worcester. That will be a big factor. We've done it with permitting. The city manager was one of the first to, to go to the, the permitting schedule um, put out by Governor Romney and other people. And that's helped us. But this is the next step. Businesses and people want to know that government is going to listen to them. And this is going to give a concrete, tangible example of that. And that's the difference.